Hi Capricorn, it's Elle here to do your June 18th through July 1st reading. Um, I've already pulled the cards. Um, I'll save the announcements to the end. Let's get into it. All right, the first row is Love and Romance. It's a five card advice spread. The second row is Career and Finance. Third is uh, Additional Supportive Messages. Okay. So, bottom of the deck for uh, for love and romance is six of wands. Nice victory. Attention! A lot of you are getting some attention. Some of you could be getting married or getting engaged, going to parties where someone's celebrating you or or your love or oh okay or the birth of some of you having a uh, baby showers bridal showers okay all right this is you Capricorn right where you are justice nice some of you could be dealing with a Libra if not you're just really trying to find the balance in your life in your love life and probably enact or yeah try to try to bring some justice about or some fairness I'm really feeling like some of you are dealing with some people a partner that you're questioning what they bring to the table you're questioning what you put out and what they have put in some of you feel like you're with takers you're the giver or vice versa some of you are weighing up a situation. It's out of balance. It's out of, out of whack. Off balance. Okay. This Are you on your correct path? King of Wands. Hmm. The King of Wands is, you know, the want king. I want. You know, they're all about their desires and their wants. They're passionate. They're charismatic they go after what they want it looks like you're going after whomever or whatever it is you want you could be dealing with the fire sign we do have six of wands and then the king of wands aries sagittarius leo you may be trying to find some balance with this person it's out of whack out of balance with this person you feel like this this person on your path is a uh, oh, okay pompous arrogant they like a lot of attention it's just out of balance all right for some of you your main obstacles ten of cups the happy family the highest level of happiness you know um, the pentacle of happiness filled with emotion high emotion in regards to family life kids husband wife what well, however that looks for you this is your main obstacle it's almost as if some of you want or are divorcing or separating from maybe a king of wands aries sagittarius and leo you want to have victory in doing so getting whatever it is you want out of this separation the children the home life the happiness that the children may have found or you you guys have created for the for the children you're, that's the obstacle here it's like don't want to tear them away from what they know or who they know What's helping you? The Five of Pentacles. Sagittarius had the Five of Pentacles here. And are they on their correct path? Some of you have shut or is shutting someone out. Some of you are really using the, the blame game. 
you're really manipulating the energy there's a lot of change in regards to a family dynamic for some of you you are married were married or in a long-standing relationship you have been cut out or you cut someone else out there's a lack of confidence here that's what's helping you know being shut out or you shutting someone else out you might be shutting this king of wands out because he or she may be in and out for some of you you feel like somebody's taking you to the bank to the to the dry cleaner they're they're they're, they're really depleting you how can progress be made the devil okay this is the capricorn card when the capricorn is the devil because okay so they have the innate ability to turn on and turn off the how do I how do I put this so if any other sign gets the devil it's like okay well you need to understand that there may be some fears some some doubts some a third party some addictions blah 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 just all this negative stuff right Capricorn has the innate ability to yes play in the devil energy could have addiction could be all of those negative things but they have this power to almost instantaneously get in control of it so it's almost as if they can turn it off and then turn it on and i've seen that in some capricorns lives where they'll be like quote unquote wild like oh my gosh you are you are out there you're doing your thing you know and then you know i'll see them later in life and it's like wow you really have it under control you're really doing your thing in regards to you know how society deems us to be you know so they just have this ability to get in control so what this is saying is how can progress be made stay in control and get in control of, of the lower side of this card you have the ability to to so quickly move away from the negative sorry that I move the card like that <laughs> that you have this ability to move away from so quickly the negative side and you can jump into action into I no longer want this Also, I'm hearing you have the you the devil is a great manipulator. You have the uh, the ability to manipulate the energy. Now you're going to manipulate it for good or bad. Where which side are you on with that? The lower vibration of that or the higher vibration of that? But yeah, so Capricorn, uh, be yourself. Get in control by way of. Um, This is third party too for some of you. And like I think you've already kind of like X'd yourself out or somebody X'd you out. And it was okay. You're okay with that because you're going through the motions of like, you know, well, this is what comes next with that. Um get in control and take action. You've you know, this is what's helping you. Alright. Career and finance. <sighs> bottom of the deck the devil card temptation yeah I really feel like you okay so for a lot of us I think you know not even for a lot of us this is how the human brain the body is wired if your finances are jacked whatever jack may be for you they're all messed up your you know your emotional health is kind of it wavers too. you try to stay emotionally uh, put in together 
but you know if one aspect of you because you've got four is messed up it kind of really um, it, it shakes the whole foundation you know and the foundation is those four different things the pentacle the cup the wand um, and then the how, how am I forgetting this the pentacle the wand the cup and then the sword your mental um, so mental physical emotional and kind of like that soul one will be kind of like more of a desire and soul type of spiritual to spiritual yeah so anyway once again get in control of your of yourself your career and finances it's like the message here is you know you you can have whatever it is you create for yourself you're able to manipulate this energy this opportunity this environment that you're in the seven of air yeah this is where you are you need to revise a you need to revise a plan devise a plan most times this is in secret this is for you seven of air Gemini Libra Aquarius seven of fire this is right where you are stand your ground yeah stand your ground know that you're going in a new direction and don't turn back move forward go to the eight of fire moving forward with that energy Psychic abilities are heightened here. Also, you got seven and seven. Spirit is really working with you. I think Sagittarius had two sevens also. You could, you guys could be very, this is Sagittarius sometimes, very connected to a Sagittarius. Theirs was about ending. Yours could very well be about endings too. How does this look to end, end a situation? Get everything, get all your ducks in a row um, in regards to career and finance. Um, your main obstacle here is the eight of air. Yeah, you you know you need to devise a plan of action. You can no longer just sit and wait for things to happen to you. But you're not seeing a way out. You're not seeing a way how to um, move forward in this. Um, for some of you, it's business. You want to start a business. You you like I can't. I don't know how to. It starts with a plan. Now, you've got it all in your head and you haven't written it down. You haven't spoke to the people you need to speak to. You haven't done the research. Then, of course, you'll always be at the aid of air. I don't see a way I can start my own business. Well, you ain't really did the legwork on it anyway. So, good luck with that. Um, what's helping you here? To a fire. Yeah, you got to take action. Where are you going in this? Are you staying here? Are you going there? Are you going to chart a new path? You have to take action in this. Sometimes you can take action. Oh, take action standing still. Uh, that would be devising the plan or revising the plan. You're not 100% ready to move in a different direction. Uh, on a new path because you haven't done this so you have to take action standing still so that would be actually doing research finding things out um, writing it down writing it whatever however it, it looks writing it on paper or, or, or just getting it out of your head get out of your head eight of air that is what is your main obstacle okay how can progress be made? The five of earth again. Fives talk about change. Oh, this is a tough one. How can progress be made? The five of earth. Sometimes the five of earth talks about um, the need for help. Some of you may need help. 
get the help you need. Allow someone to help you. And then it'll put you at the six of earth. Where, where there's balance. And, and you can find a bit of peace. Acknowledge that you need help. Hmm. Okay. Alright, the bottom of the deck for the butterfly oracle cards. Be true to you. Yeah. Be true to you. Whatever that means to you. You know? Retirement. Retirement, of course, talks about retirement. You know, some of my viewers may be retired or on the verge of retirement. Retirement also talks about self-employment. We, we just kind of went through that a little bit self-employment or doing a different job doing the same job maybe less amount of hours um you're at a place where you were full-time now you can be part-time um or it talks about the change of a job it talks about the change of how you uh you bring in your income it talks about the need to evaluate where you are financially because one day you do want to retire Realizations and epiphanies. Nice, nice, nice. Um, you'll have that once you start to realize. Once you start to live in this. Knowing that you need help. Realizations and epiphanies. Take the, take the next step now. Nice. And at the bottom of the deck for love and romance you have a victory card for some of you you'll so you'll be victorious in this take the next step now whatever that looks like for you some of you need to actually write out the plan some of you i'm here write out the plan as far as this divorce goes okay so if this helped you out please like share comment subscribe to the channel um request a personal reading by going to my my actual web site that's below find me on insta go ask a question or two um choose to fund the page by clicking the go fund me link below find me on instagram uh just to you know get a little snapshot of my life i do not take readings through instagram do not ask me uh can you do a reading that is not the platform for that you will be redirected um respectfully and nicely but you will be redirected so don't waste your time just go to those platforms where you can reach me for a reading, right? I know Capricorn understands that. Y'all, I don't have to tell y'all that. It's it's them other ones. No, <laughs> no I'm only joking. I, I I appreciate anybody who wants to um, trust me to read for them. So anyhow, um, thank you for tuning in. Um, remember Capricorn to stay in prayer. I'm praying for you. Pray for me as well. I will see you in July. All right. Or I'll talk to you in July. Bye for now.